So welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, all things African, Nana, your kissy babe, your Kenyan game, babe. I've been representing kisses for long, although I'm very proud of being a kissy. Now I'm representing Kenya, which is in Africa, the land of culture and heritage. So today, I've decided I want to cook something different. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I need to cook something different. Although you guys, you know, I'm so choosy in the type of food I eat. Today, I'm making fish. Fish from Lake Victoria, Yakisumu. If you want the contacts, I'll put the contacts down there. There's someone who delivers to us. Uh, and their fish are very nice. They are very big, big, big. Like big. Normally, 350 Kenyan shillings. That is $3, yeah? And for you to choose if you want a fish that are not deep fried or deep fried ones. But as we've ordered deep fried ones, the only thing I'm going to do is kutengeza soup ya kukula na nyama. So, don't mind about me. Me, sometimes when I'm in the house, I prefer walking around with my night girl. Although I've already washed myself. I prefer walking around in the night girl. Because it's so hot right now, so I want fresh hair. So, the you see the way they are big they are so big like big big and they are fresh they are putting in the fish pod china fish but these ones are really really good fish so i'm going to prepare them with cabbage and ugali ugali is our cultural food in kenya and kisses like it so guys i hope you enjoy and i'll show you how i prepare my fish steps to from step to step i'm not going to put any spices also i'm not a big fan of fish i don't even eat not even big fan i can cook but i cannot eat so me i don't normally i like people in the house to be comfortable but it's because i don't eat something i will not cook for them no i just cook for them them they eat and me i eat something different so guys let me just appreciate you for always watching my channel subscribe if you're new like and share we need to reach 10,000 for my birthday you see we're in the month of March and by the way happy new month and may God bless you all my people and grant you all the desires of your heart I know most of my some of my subscribers of March babies happy birthday to you in advance mine is 24th of April and we really need to reach 10,000 subscribers eh? eh I've noticed that 60% of people who watch my videos have not subscribed and the other percentage are those who are subscribed. So those who have not subscribed, please subscribe and always put your notification bell on. So when I post a video, it always notifies you guys. And I'll keep on reminding you guys or telling you, please suggest which kind of video you want me to post in my channel and don't forget to support the channel you can either support in paypal i'll put my paypal email there or also support my channel by watching my videos from the start up to the end i told you when i'm not sick i'll make content after content after content and i don't disappoint i know you guys you've missed my story times i just story time so guys thank you and i'm still house hunting by the way i'm telling you i have many things to do i need to do culinary and i have many things to do but i know in god's will i'll do two or three of them at least so guys stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe 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 i'm back i'm back i'm a quieter by the you know i have to cook dinner right now because at night the light will bounce back and then it will it will be like white that's why i'm doing the video right now i'll have to i'll have to manifest to have a ring light because you saw my video how it was lit it was so 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 lit eh so i'm just manifesting for ring light and i'm telling you kukwana pesa unakwana pesa but your money has many many responsibilities and yet i don't even have a kid not even a husband a kid so I'm back. Uh, as I told you, I want to make like fish. And the aim for today, video for today is making fish. And you know fish, I Because I don't eat fish, I'm going to, to make two of them, to prepare two of them. So this is the recipe. Two fish, already deep fried fish, which is here. And then tomatoes. And then milk. 
and of course our two big slices of onions this is a meal for two you know you do what on a panda fish sana so guys so that i can send her lemon lemon is also a good thing to put in your fish i'm not putting any spices because i want the people i'm cooking for who feel the taste and as i talk about feel the taste as in what they are eating on a skin in an inevitable so stay tuned as i show you step by step as i'm making the fish prepare my fish i know my fish tastes nice there's no need for you guys to put like I see other people put like garlic and coriander and ho ho. Uh, ho ho is green pepper or the colored peppers. But me, I think when you put all that, you'll not feel that taste of fish. Yali let test your fish That's why I prefer putting just basic things like uh onions, tomato, tomato paste, lemon and milk and i'm telling you this ingredient of mine i don't disappoint i'll tell you i know i cook well fish when i finish i'll have to tell madame solangia because i'm the only one she's the only person i've left with in, at home the mother is at work and then she'll tell you guys how that fish tastes but as i told you earlier cooking is like an art and it depends with someone who and it's like you playing with play, playing around with the recipe or the ingredients so it depends how you want your fish to taste but but the people in my house they don't like fish to have many spices but if you love spices you can put fish masala but for this case i'm not going to put any fish masala i'm going i'm only going to put like a, a half teaspoon of black pepper paste i don't want to cut the fish into two pieces our nini today i feel like using this one i know you will ask me guys why i'm not using a wooden spoon but i feel like using this one i have my reasons why i normally like i normally like putting my spices as i told you i put half teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of of what of salt i normally like mixing them with with my onions I have that thing that Zita Eva, me, I just love doing that. So, it is you who want to put, you, you'll decide what, what taste you want with your fish. But me, I prefer putting this. If I had fish masala, I could have put, but I don't have. That's why I've put black pepper, because at least black pepper in a kwanga pia dawaya tumbo. So, normally, you know, I love my my onions to be golden brown but for my onions the next thing i'm going to put is my tomatoes and of course they have to be well done my my nyanya now because they want to take any corner so i have to put like a water like a, a quarter or almost an eighth of making magic to it also so that the chicken the spices the mix we do this i need to make sure more you shall imagine if you can evil to the same care and then we put our fish we need to wait for our water to boil eh? There is our tomato. You know, I've not put anything, just, just tomato. And our we are putting our fish here. Two fish. Now, depend now on the soup, so I have. It may end up cooking the dog, but we'll figure out how we are going to do. So, I'm going to each. We need to put water. No, your soup which MK Vizuri is blending with the fish. I'll come and turn them on the other side. Like I told you, one teaspoon of of nini of tomato paste to squeeze our lemons here. The reason why I'm putting like this is because it has like six inside. Yeah. We need to squeeze, we're not putting at the lemon pamoja na nini na iki to netwaje. Peelings mm -hmm. with the peels, so, and then after that, we need to put our milk, mm -hmm. and then we cover. You see, I know, I know people will ask why you are putting milk, but it is the best ingredient 
ever. We cover it and then we will be back after fish. There is our lovely fish. Unjua ni kama hii pan nimeamkua kidogo that's why unaona nimekata like into kidogo kicho unaona iko kando. I hope this recipe that I have just made for fish but me you know it's not it, I never disappoint. I just know I don't disappoint with the kind of meals that I make. So if you enjoy this kind of video like, share and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe road to 10,000 subscribers yeah guys yeah. And please don't forget to subscribe to my sister's channel, Raising ba Baby Ella in Africa, Came to Bear, and Bing Mona. I'm going to put their links down there below. And also my friend, Glam by Sameha. I'm going to put a link down, down below. And then fish. There is our fish. I've finished cooking fish. Now it's water for ugali. Eh? My soft ugali, my famous soft ugali. There's something I want to tell you for YouTubers who want to open because I know Mumekwa Mkilipo na Western Union. So, for YouTubers who want to open an account, let me just tell you if it is standard chartered bank, and I repeat, make sure you open a savings account, not a current account. Me likuwa na current account. You know me, I'm a type of person na penda mini fanya kitu kwanza so that I share information to people. I tell people how is that it has affected me. For current account, maintenance charges. It is one. Th it is 10 euros. That is a service fee. And 2 euros. That is excise duty. And when you do like 12 times 130, that is almost 1500 Kenyan shillings. Utakuwa ni kama unafanya bank kazi. Maintenance charges. So it is better you open a savings account. Where savings account, it will, it will only be charged the excess duty, which is 2 euros. And you know, for savings, you are going to withdraw only once. Now, it doesn't have a maintenance charges. But I'm seeing other and or alternatively, you can open an Echo Bank account where an, an Echo Bank bank, Echo Bank and a euro account but for echo bank they need you to have kenyan account and the euro account of which you're going to pay a thousand shillings for kenyan account in echo bank eh? and another thousand shillings for euro account and for echo bank they don't have a it is savings account here yeah, euro the only savings account they have is the dollar your yeah, dollar back on a two current account but the, the good thing is that they don't charge at mamboya maintenance charges they only charge excess duty which is two of course mamboya check checkbook which is i think five euros eh ah two two euros and for checkbook i think it's five euros i just felt like i need to share with you guys that kind of thing because me information is power and sharing is good so i just wanted to tell you guys so i hope i am clear and if you don't understand anything just dm me at all things africa nana in my instagram Toodles. Tell us, unaskia je your fish? Your honest opinion. He got sour. It's delicious. For real. Would you pick your fish? Come here, you go in Yumba, and you make one mazi. You never know that you can put milk and lemon at nini kwa kwa fish. Yes. But so far, you've enjoyed. I've mixed everything. Okay. Yes. That's how it's going to be. Bye. Like eating fish, I'm making a my eye for myself. Oh, I'm only putting onion scent. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Give it a like, smash that subscribe button, road to 10,000. And guys, always put your post notification bell on, which is on the left side, so that when I post a video, I notify you guys. And guys, please don't forget to support my channel by watching the videos from the start up to the end and also supporting me in paypal i want mine because i'm still manifesting for ring light so bye 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 and subscribe subscribe till next time bye Mwah!